You want to see the coolest thing about this generator? Watch this. Generator's there. This is the cool thing. Pretty nice, huh? This was, I was like, wow, you can have this outside hooked up to your transfer panel, snowstorm, you wanna turn this on to turn on your furnace or your freezer, or your refrigerator, beep, starts up. You don't have to trudge out into the snow to fire this up again. I like that. So in addition to the cool remote start, which works up to 100 feet away, this is an add-on you have to buy separately, but I wanna talk about this as well. It is a smart portable automatic transfer switch. More on this later, okay? 7,500 running watts, 9,500 peak watts. What that means is when the generator is just chugging along, it's about 7,500 watts, which is a ton of power. That's about 60 amps at 110 volts. And then it has a surge capacity to 9,500 watts. So when a big appliance turns on, say like your refrigerator or something like that, this can meet that need and also run a lot of your other house. What this won't run is a whole house air conditioning unit. Very few portable generators can sustain what's called the starting watt power needed to start a whole house air conditioner. So just FYI, this will run window air conditioners just fine. So the important parts here on the panel, 120 watt GFI, sorry, 120 volt GFI 20 amp outlets, very nice and then a standard L1430R plug. And like the other Westinghouse generators we've looked at, those videos will be linked at the end of this one, is these have these rubber covers that keep dirt and insects from going in here. I don't know if you live out in the woods like I do, but any small little, like things the size of a straw that are in your garage, there are insects that wanna lay eggs in them, mud daubers and things like that. And that's the perfect size for some kind of insect to go right in there. So this cover, if I can put it on right, is very nice. This meter will show your volts, the frequency, which should be about 60 hertz, and the hours that the engine has run. Start stop switch, very nice. And then electric start, super nice. On, press and hold. Also, pull start if your battery happens to be dead. And for the electric start, has an automatic choke. You can also manually set this, but automatic choke, super nice. I like that it has a shutoff valve for the fuel tank. And I like that the fuel tank is metal. Um, I was with a buddy yesterday, he's got a splitter with a engine, has a plastic gas tank and there's a crack in it. And fixing that can be a pain. Metal tanks, I don't think they split as much, at least what I think. 420 cc engine. So that equates to about 13 horsepower, which is, that's a big portable generator. Again, it puts out 9,500 peak watts, so that's why you need the 13 horse. But yeah, that's, this is a big one. Easy to read fuel gauge, and I like this a lot. This is the fuel filter. Well, if I could get it out, sorry. Um, come on out, there we go. See how fine that screen is? So when you're putting gas in here, junk doesn't get in there, so junk doesn't get in your carburetor. That is nice. Now my hands smell like gas, so I'll just watch. Gojo cleaner is really good at getting the gas smell off your hands, by the way. It comes with a little tool kit. 10 millimeter wrench, spark plug wrench. These are handy when you need to replace the spark plug because it's fouled or something and you can't find your spark plug socket because somebody borrowed it. It's right here. It has a sealed battery for the electric start and a nice simple connection here if you have to disconnect that battery. Right here where you plug in your charger for the battery. This comes with a 0.8 amp charger that plugs into here. You need to keep your battery topped up for when you really need it. 
I'm gonna jump off script here because I actually really like this kind of aftermarket charger. Um, anything I have that has a battery and an engine, I keep connected to one of these. I'll link to these below. You can clip on with clips or it has this easy to disconnect plug and that same plug is right here. So these are worth it. They have a little status light and it just, it makes me feel better. So if you're gonna get one of these, consider getting a trickle charger for it and anything like your quad or your tractor, anything that sits in the cold, this will keep it up to date. And for such a large generator, this fits nicely and that folds down. My current generator, about the same size, doesn't fit underneath my workshop table. So compact and powerful, that's nice. The oil fill on generators is never in what we would call a convenient, easy place. But wait, these guys include a funnel, and it looks kind of weird with this bent thing, but this goes in there, and you can fill up your oil. Also, they send a quart of oil with the machine, which is really nice, because you get it out of the box, you want to fire it up, boom, there's your oil. I'm going to geek out here for a minute, but have you ever read the manual for a lot of your power equipment? This one's actually good. There's a lot of misinformation out there about generators, and this really spells it out in an easy way. As far as balancing the load of a generator, there are two fields to geek out on a generator. You wanna balance that, what kind of percentages. This explains it in a way that'll make sense to you. So another plus here. All right, smart portable automatic transfer switch. Stick around for this. So you've heard of automatic transfer switches, whole house, whole house transfer switches, manual transfer switches. They are all built to safely switch over your house from line current, power company current, to generator current safely and sometimes automatically. This is a smart automatic transfer switch on a smaller scale. So what happens here, you have some um, crucial devices, call them, your refrigerator, your deep freezer, a sump pump, and you have a storm coming. You hook them up through this switch into the generator. And then if the power does go out, the generator senses the power is out, automatically turns on and provides power to those crucial devices. I'm gonna show you with a light bulb because my sump pump and my deep freeze are in the basement. Your house power or your utility power goes in here. Then your crucial devices, pretend this is a deep freezer or a sump pump or your furnace, goes here. All right, this is my line power. I'm gonna pretend that we have a power outage. Nice machine. Remote electric start. Oh, it just sensed that the line power is back on. Remote electric start. Electric start just in general is nice. I can be in my house, I can turn this puppy on. 9,500 peak watt, that'll run just about everything. And then if you get the additional um, transfer switch, which is you have to buy that thing, then that is even better. Purchasing information, links are below as well. There's more generator videos I have. I've got a little playlist right here for you. So I'll see you next generator video right there.